early this morning, man. Early. What 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 time is it over there? Where where are you at? Um <clears throat> I'm in I don't know. Whew. Well I'm Georgia. I'm I'm over here at the uh rest area uh where the Tennessee line is at right now, man. I had to uh I had a I had about a good couple of hours to go last night, but I, I I got super tired, so I couldn't I couldn't push it no more. Um, let me let me ask you this before we get into it. You the 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 company that you drive for, man, do they do they force you to jeopardize your 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 license? Like, you know, try to you know try to squeeze the last amount of miles out or or anything like that. No, they don't even. They don't even know what we're doing until unless we tell them. So y'all got so you got some type of control over like if you're tired or something like that, and you're able to say, "Hey, you know, look, man, I'm I'm fatigued. I don't I don't think they don't care. They don't see anything we do until we tell them. Oh, okay. Like I got my appointment was due for a live unload at eight a.m. this morning. Mm-hmm. I still got two hours to go. That's what's and up. right now, I just woke up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, well, thank- you communicate. Send your PTA, send your ETA. That's all they care about. That's what's up, man. That's good to hear because, you know, some companies, you know, they, they, they try to be pushing their drivers to, you know, to the limit and they get up. Yeah, that's when they have fleet managers and shit like that. We don't got fleet managers. We don't have dispatchers. So there's nobody pushing us to do anything. Because we don't have fleet managers. That's what's up. All right. Well, congratulations to you uh, in life. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about, definitely uh, subscribe to uh, Dial Face Truckers TikTok and and YouTube. Look like you shine away from YouTube, uh, uh, Dial Face. What's what's going on there? I mean, you know, you look like you're doing a lot more, a lot more TikToks, man. What's 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 up? I got videos that I sent to my editor who he hasn't sent back the videos yet. Okay, okay. So, so it's quicker to do TikTok. But I haven't really been focused on doing anything yet because I've been trying to just take care of my house. All right. Congratulations on uh on all of that, man. That's all all of this is uh is a is a long time coming for you. So I'm so I'm glad that this opportunity that you that you took advantage of now or last year helped you out you know financially and 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 everything else I yeah guess. i didn't believe me when i said this was the company to be at <laughs> now you see me doing shit well, Told yeah. y'all. well you know some people still you know some people still don't believe it uh, you know but we're we're not here to talk about we're not here to talk about that, man. We're here to talk about pilot. Where where were you, man? That 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 let me let me uh go ahead and uh preface this right quick. So I seen Dow Face's uh TikTok and she Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now, and what you do. That's why I'm fine. And my love for you, I won't please you. Anywhere I can, I won't share my world. Don't you understand? She was at she was at a pilot and you walked you walked in and you inspect the bathroom as as you should, you know, before you you know, before you do anything in the bathroom. You should always, you know, or shower area or whatever you want to call it, but you should always go in there, inspect the bathroom you know, the shower area to see if it's, you know, sanitized enough, clean enough, and all that other good stuff. But uh, this one was atrocious, man. Talk to me. Tell tell me all this. (laughs) What was going on in there? 
dirt, like years and and thousands of truckers worth of dirt stuck on the walls, and on the ground, on the floor. It's like they just like I already knew how they how pilot cleans bathrooms because usually when after somebody get out, you're supposed to like spray it down and wipe it down or whatever. But it don't even look like they did that. It looked like they just washed it, like rinsed it off. So all that soap scum and dirt and all that shit was piled up on the walls and on the floor. Man. I was sitting on the, using the bathroom mm-hmm. and I'm looking at the little corner of the wall. I'm like, okay. Okay, so that's the corner of the wall. You know how sometimes in the bathroom they miss miss certain spots like behind the bathroom door mm-hmm. and you go into the stall that don't normally be clean so I'm like okay that's 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 the one spot then I got up when I finished using the bathroom and I looked at the tub area the shower area and I'm like I'm just thinking to myself this I don't remember any other pilots looking like this I was like okay so this is either dirt or I mean, I can't think of anything else it could be. So I'm like, could it come off? And so I got my nail and I start to scratch on it. And I'm like, this shit come off way too easy. You know, and then, um, you, you, you know, that, that what got me right there. That, that part right there. That what got me when you went over there and you start scratching on the, on the wall and that shit actually came off, man. I said, no way. When 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 you did that and you saw all of that, you what what was your impression, man, as a woman? You know, as a woman, because like I, I kind of feel that a man probably wouldn't care, depending on what type of man it is. You know what I'm saying? Me, me personally. Look, look, when yeah. I first started driving trucks. This is my impression when I first started driving. Men are out here on this road, lonely. They probably do what they got to do in the shower. Like, a lot of men that I know, they masturbate in the shower. That's the first thing I thought about when I first started driving. They pee in the shower. So, when I'm in that shower, when I walked into that shower, I looked in there, I'm like, that's years and years of pee and, and you know, ejaculate on the walls. That's that's disgusting. And I've always felt like I've never ever wanted my body to touch the walls in any kind of way. Like I literally stand in one spot when I take a shower. I, I try not to even like step over the drain. I don't want the waters, the water cover on my feet. Like if it's if it's building up on the floor, because yeah, like even though you know you wear shower shoes. If the drain ain't draining well enough, that water still doesn't get in your feet. And now it's in your shoes. So I was, I just felt violated. Like, ugh. And then it had a bench in there. And the bench, I just, I sit on that bench. And then you lift it up and it got all the shit up under there. They would never cleaned that bathroom. There's no way they cleaned that bathroom. So, so I, I asked if I could get out yeah. and get it to another... Well, I wasn't going to use another bathroom, a shower. That wasn't going to happen. But I just wanted to see. So I asked the dude, I said, what the fuck, man? Mm-hmm. He was like, I've only been here three days. They tell me to spray it and then wipe it down. Mm-hmm. And they used to, um, they used the face towels. I never used their face towels. But they used the face towels to spray it and wipe it down. Right. I said, can I get another shower? Are all y'all showers like this? And I looked in the shower the guy just, just got out of. And I walked in there, I looked in there, I said, see, that's that shit. I'm good. I want my money back. Or your, and I, um, or your credit. My account, you, you, you yeah, got, she gave me my, yeah. She gave me double the credits back. And I made a report on Google. There's a Google review. And I called and I wrote an email. Yeah, that's, that's. The, then I read the reviews and I'm like, oh, damn, I should have read the reviews in the first place. You know, but you don't think about shit. Right, right. I mean, you just stop. You do what you got to do. You don't think about reviews at a truck stop unless you're gonna eat there. Man, that's 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 just horrible. 
I mean, you know, I I seen the way, you know, I I seen the way too how how they uh how they just dry wipe uh the restrooms. You know what I'm saying? They don't, you know, they 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 try to get in there, clean it quick, so the next driver could get in there and and take the shower. But they they don't understand the 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 sanitary of the shower, man. I mean that shit. That that's how that's how people get sick, man, without even knowing. Because of stuff like that, man. And it's COVID. I mean, you can't tell me that disinfectant is disinfecting that shower. You can't disinfect years and thousands of truckers worth of skin and blood and sweat and semen and urine and dirt on a wall. You can't disinfect that. That's embedded in the wall. And now we got COVID running around. What the fuck? Ooh, can you imagine you put a black light in that bitch? <laughs> I think I'll throw up. I'll die. So, uh, so where's that? Where, where, where was that particular pilot at? It was in Brazelton, Georgia. Pilot number sixty-six off of Highway fifty-three, exit one twenty-nine off of I eighty-five. Mm. Uh, 85 exit 129, Brazil, so, Georgia. So would you say that's, that's the worst one that you've ever been to? By far, yeah, definitely. I'm about to send you the pictures. Oh, my God. There's, oh, my God. I've I, I, <laughs> I, I, I seen enough on, on, on your video, man. That was. This is a picture from a review. Oh, man. Somebody, somebody sent in. That shit looks worse than mine. Oh, my God. Well, guys, there you have it, man. I mean, you know, a, a lot of you, a lot of you new drivers that's coming out here in the industry, just thinking that, you know, everything is all copacetic. But you got to put you 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 got to put everything in perspective. The 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 truck that you drive, the uh, you know, the the places where you go to, and all like that. And these are the places you have to contend with. You know when when you're out here on this road, you know, you're, you're sharing a public, uh, ba uh, bath area, you know, you're not the but only see, the thing is, what trips me out is these drivers not even tripping. Like they literally still go in there and take a shower. Like, do you not give, what's the point of taking a shower? If you can go in a nasty ass shower like that. Nah, some, some, you know, some drivers don't you know? Don't even shower. They shower in they uh in they trucks. They got they got makeshift uh like baby. I I seen I seen a few videos that they got baby. You know those little baby tubs and all like that that they you know that they you know you know clean a baby in. You know they got that. What I do is I get a bowl, mm -hmm. my body wash. Mm -hmm. I put the bowl in the microwave with some water. I get the body wash and put it in, in the bowl with the water. I get my little, I got a towel. I got baby wipes. So I use the baby wipes and I put it in the bowl. I wash the important areas and then I get another baby wipe and I rinse the important areas. I get another baby wipe and I make sure it's all gone. And bam, that's my little shower. That's my little bird bath. Hey, that's what's and up. Next morning, during the day, if I have to, um, I'll, I'll probably take a 30 minute break to go take a shower when the showers are not busy. If I'm not rushing, if I'm not in a rush to get to my appointment. Like that happened. I didn't take a shower yesterday. So then I kept running because it was a live load. So I really didn't have time to do shit yesterday. So today is probably going to be that day. Either I'm going to take a shower between pickups and drops or when I shut down. But worst case scenario, I mean, baby wipes, I buy them shits by the pack. Three, four, five in a pack. Oh, I got baby. I, I got baby wipes off the wazoo. I, I keep telling people. The, I, I keep telling people baby wipes. You know what I'm saying? But uh, out of out of all the showers, before we get on up out of here, because I know you got to get ready to the row. Out of out of all the places that you that you actually took a shower at, which which one would you prefer? Uh, which which one would you per, prefer to take a shower at? Any love that's brand new that just opened. 
Now, there you have it, guys. Any loves that's brand new because they popping up everywhere. They they opening up a, a lot of new loves. Uh, Love tends to plan a little bit better than pilot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dial face trucker, thank you very much for coming on, man. And uh congratulations for all of your all of your accolades, man. Congratulations. This is uh I finally closed my house like three days ago. Right. That's what's up, man. Finally. That's what's up, man. And this this is your what, second year rever going into your second year revariant now? Um, nope. My first year, my my year will be at in February. Yeah, that's why I said you're going into your second year because your your year will be in February. So after February, it'll be going into your second. Yeah. Well, much the same. How you're working for a company <laughs> as a company driver. Which I don't believe me though. That's cool though. <laughs> we'll 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 come back and talk about that at a later date. But uh congratulations on everything though, and I appreciate you stopping back in and uh checking in with me. All right. All right, I'll holler at you, you later. All right, bye bye.